What's going on YouTube? Back at it again. You know, I thought I would do a video about, um, I keep a large like emergency case in my truck at all times. So I've had a few folks comment on my videos wondering what's in that case? What kind of case is it? What? Why do I keep it in my truck? So, hey, so I thought, let me give people a rundown of what I keep in my emergency truck box, why I keep it in there. Maybe it'd be useful for you you know stuff like that so let's get to it um first things first the case itself this is a pelican let's see pelican 1660 case i think i've had this case for at least 10 years so i mean it's it is i don't know if they purport it to be waterproof on the pelican website but i've had it in all sorts of environments where it's been raining and it's just never failed me so, you know, I'll leave a link below. I think they still sell this case. Bunch of latches on the side, hold down latches. And you can also put your own locks, um, install your own locks, which is a really good thing. So as you can see, um, my emergency box stays pretty full. Just wanted to give you like a over, over shot of what it looks like. Kind of going over each item here one by one. And I kind of talk about what the item is, why it's in there. First thing in my case is my get home bag. I've done a video on this bag. I'm going to link that video below. But uh, my get home bag is always at the top of my case so I can grab it in an absolute emergency. I know exactly where it is. Stuff like that. Next, I keep a, uh, I guess this is a company by, called Slime. You know, they're similar to the Fix a Flat company. The difference being, I think their product is a little bit better. Um, at least from my experiences from it. So I have a lifted truck with 35s um, tires on there. So I keep an emergency tire repair kit in here and um, has a little 12 volt compressor that I can plug into the cigarette lighter in my truck. Plenty of holes to reach uh, all four tires if I ever need to deflate my tires for any reason or reinflate them like if I'm going into an area where I, I'm definitely gonna be in four wheel drive or something like that. It has different uh, wet tips so that you can inflate tires. It also has some extra caps that you can put on to your valve stems. Uh, and then it has like a little repair kit to actually plug. If you were to happen to get like a nail or a screw on your tire, you can actually use this kit, plug that screw, put some slime in your tire, reinflate it, and keep rolling down the road until you're able to get a proper fix. So, I mean, really good kit. I like it a lot. Um, I also keep toe straps. This is a brand new toe strap. I had a two inch toe strap that was, I think, 16 feet long. This one's two feet long. I'm not an expert. I don't purport to be an expert on using stuff like this. So my other toe strap that I had, I was actually helping somebody um, that was stuck in a ditch. And I guess I rubbed against the tree and I put too much tension on the strap, snapped the strap. So I had to get another one. But it's still good because I was able to get them out the ditch and um, they gave me some money to buy myself a new toe strap. So. so also at all times, I keep tools in my truck. Um, also keep tools in my wife's car. Both bags are kind of built in similar ways. Maybe I'll do a review video specifically on the tools that I keep in my truck at all times. Um, so this work pro bag I've had, I think for like five years and it's, it's really, you know, it's kind of one of those internet companies that's trying to like penetrate, but I think the bag works good. And so this bag is full of tools, hand tools. Uh, this bag is simply for, uh, just two power tools that I keep in my truck at all times. I've actually used them several times. Um, so I keep a Matabo. Um, three eighths inch uh, drill driver. It also has a hammer drill mode, so it's a hammer drill. And I also keep a one fourth inch uh, brush, both for brushless um, impact uh, driver in here. They're both 12 volt. The batteries last a really long time. I mean, I don't know if you can see this here, but these have been in my truck for months. And the batteries just, they, Metabo makes really good batteries. It's a little bit different than Metabo HPT. Um, they're both owned by 
I think Kaioki or whatever the name of the company is, but they're not the same system. You might see some of the, the tools I have back here. Matabo HPT is a totally different company than Matabo. Matabo HPT meaning uh, Hitachi Power Tools. They used to be Hitachi. The batteries don't work in each other. I'll do a review on what tools I keep in my bag if you want me to. Just comment below and let me know. Also in my bag, I keep a, uh, a jump start battery pack. So my jump start battery pack, I think it's 20,000 amp hours. I know the peak current is 1500 amps. This can easily jump. Uh, you know, I have a 5.3 V8. This can easily jump my, my truck if it were to, the battery to be down or anything like that. But I also can give this to somebody and they can do their own like jump start, which is kind of the same concept with my tool bag. In that tool bag, I keep extra uh, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter uh, open wrench uh, socket or ratchet rather so that I can just give it to someone if they're stuck on the side of the road and they need a third. Those are the, like come to the most common uh, uh, open wrenches that are used on vehicles. So I keep a lot of those, but I can give this to somebody to use without having to hook my truck up to their vehicle, especially if it's in an awkward place. The charging cable, the actual... Um, terminal links that you would put on your battery terminals and another thing i like about this is you know these are laptop tips so if i'm working somewhere and i really need juice for a laptop or my laptop someone else's this not only is a jump start but you can also use it for flashlight mode um, you can charge different devices and usbs here so if I really needed to use some type of device or just get a quick charge, I can rely on this as well. If, you, if you've seen my video on my get home bag, there's a lot of items in there. Um, you know, my emergency radio kind of does the same thing. It keeps a, I can charge items with that, but you know, it's always good to have options. So this stays in my truck at all times. Also in my truck, more emergency blankets. So. My get home bag has smaller emergency blankets. This emergency blanket, if I were to stuck on the side of the road or stuck somewhere and my battery wasn't working on my truck or something like that, I can pull this out, keep myself warm. Also, if someone gets in an accident, they're on the side of the road or something like that, it's kind of nice to be able to just hand somebody an emergency blanket and they can, you know, use it. But I mean, you can also use emergency blankets for a lot of different things. You can use it as a fishing lure. If you got a fish hook, you can use it for like different survival stuff, a backpack cover to keep things dry, emergency shelter. So it's good to have this in an emergency kit as well. Next on the list are lots of coats and jackets. So I have like lightweight coats that jackets that I can give or use myself, give to somebody that's on the side of the road. If they've got an accident or something like that. So I keep a lot of coats and jackets in my bag as well. Got raincoats. So uh, two different raincoats in here. Rain jackets rather in here so that, you know, I always on standby. If I'm with like my family or if I'm with somebody else, it's always nice to be able to grab a raincoat. If you're going to be outside working on your vehicle or someone else's vehicle, kind of don't want to just sit there and get rained on the whole time. So that's nice. Then I have a heavier coat. This is a heavier coat. I think this can... I've used this in temperatures, I think it was like 16 degrees outside with another warming layer underneath. Worked just fine. It's nice to have that in your bag as well. So the next item I keep in my emergency kit at all times. Um, so this is a shovel. Um, so this is really good to have if, um, you know, you're trying to help somebody get out of it. If they're stuck, they were four wheel drive. They thought they knew what they were doing. It's kind of nice to be able to pull out a shovel, dig a little bit. Even if you're stuck yourself, you know, dig in front of your tires, throw some dirt in front of your tires. And that way you're able to, you know, get yourself out of a jam. Or if you need to build for a shelter or any other reason, you have a, a shovel, just a small compact shovel I keep in my bag at all times. It also is a Molly system, so if I wanted to attach this to my get home bag, I would actually attach this to my get home bag. So on my way, grab my get home bag, attach this to the bag, and I'm gone, ready to rock. And so the final item I keep in this Pelican case itself, 
This is a hand crank radio. This is older than the hand crank radio that is in my get home bag, but still really reliable. Antenna's a little busted up. I mean, but it still works. It works really well. Has a, a light. They don't even call it a flashlight. It is like a light that just gives you enough to see kind of in front of you. But, you know, that way you're able to check and see what's going on out there. You have the FM and AM and also the emergency radio frequencies. So this is good when you're out in a, an area where you're no longer have GPS or you no longer have cell phone signal and you kind of need to know what's going on in the world. Always keep an emergency radio. This is the last item that is a part of my emergency kit. This is called a remote area lighting system. It's containing a, a Pelican 9450B, a different Pelican case, but uh, this thing's pretty heavy. This item here, um, I use this in several different scenarios, right? So yes, of course, it's a massive light, much stronger than like any flashlight I can basically purchase. But the main thing I like about it is, you know, it has the built-in phone, which is a good thing. The light itself is massive. I mean, this thing cranks out. I don't even know how many lumens it cranks out. I'm going to look it up, but it cranks out so many lumens. I can diffuse the light. So if I need to throw light at a wider angle and dampen the light down. But this is a really, really bright light. You know, the extension pole. So the way it sets up is I take this all out. Actually set an adapter onto the top of the case and this extension pose goes up I think to seven feet then I can angle it down so that way if I'm working on changing a tire or something like that I have a lot of light the built-in battery on this unit is charged with those same laptop little prongs that you saw take one of those I plug that into a an actual 110 outlet not not really my truck and I'm able to take that I can charge this but the crazy thing about this is it doesn't have to get charged often. I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but this thing has been in my truck for six months, still full battery. Battery just does not deplete that quickly. I'll try to link this below as well. I also use this when I hunt, if I'm fishing, if I need to go deep into the woods and I actually need to process an animal or drag an animal out and I don't want to bring it out. Um, and I don't exactly want to bring that animal out to like, my campsite or wherever I'm staying boom I'm able to pull this light out process it take out the items from the animal that I do not want to attract bigger animals to my camp and go from there that's about it you know I keep a few things in there of course my cigar goes out when I'm sitting here running my mouth but comment down below let me know if there's anything else you think I should put my in my like truck emergency kit my wife's car doesn't have as much stuff as mine. She really just has like a small tool bag. Matter of fact, I'll show it to you. So my wife's vehicle just has this small tool bag. It has the same similar makeup as my tool bag. You know, different items I keep in her vehicle at all times. And a jump start kit. She, her vehicle has way more like roadside assistance. It's newer than my vehicle. So I don't need to keep all the crazy stuff and her vehicle that I keep in mind, but I mean, let me know anything you think I need to add to my kit, any items you like in the kit you want to know more about, comment down below. I think the next thing I'm going to be doing, uh, definitely on my Marine X Afterthoughts is going to be a cigar review for some cigars I had in my Provada Cigar Club box. And I think the next video I'll do out here will be just the tour of this area. This is like my man cave slash shop where I do a lot of work and I also do a lot of hanging out and chilling out here. And I think I'll give y'all, if you're interested in that, I'll show you that as well. So I'll catch y'all next time. Yeah, that's nice.